hello guys welcome back to my channel this is the offer trade in this video i want to share with you guys this um simple um strategy i used to make this trade as you can see i have a trade that is running already um i have a trade that is running already and the result is massive this this is the h1 time frame <coughs> this is one hour time frame and um I haven't moved this far you can agree with me that the result is massive yeah very massive so i want to share with you guys how um i was able to come up with this kind of trade okay so um first of all you will see um if you look around this area you see that i have this yellow bar here and i have this horizontal here okay so i used it to make my reference judging from the past history you know um trading is all about using the past history to um forecast the future okay so while i came around this um region i saw this uh what they call this rejection here i also saw this one here i also saw this one so i it was clear to me that this is a support level right a support level so i saw price um closing very close to it and changing direction then this one it returned here and then was rejected again it came back the third time and was rejected came again here and was also rejected so this was a kind of high confidence for me um also tracking it backwards you see what happened there price hit here and was rejected to the downside okay so it served as a resistance here even at this point if you go to the lower time frame you find out when price broke out of this point came down again and as soon as it hit it see you can you can even see clear judging from this um two candles okay i'm trying to zoom in yeah judging from these two candles here with the long week they have you can see um you can see yeah let me see if i can zoom in more yeah judging from this their long week the long week they have here you can see that it was a clear rejection a very clear rejection here okay so it also served as a support here the same thing if you track backward you still find out the same thing. this is it just keep happening it just keeps happening even around this area this area you can see it all this so you know that this is a very significant area to pay very close attention to so what i did which is the way i trade this is my trading style and i'm teaching you guys so that you can also apply it if you want okay so what i did exactly was I used my horizontals to mark out these levels. I placed my, um, what do you call it? I also placed my bar here, okay? So I also placed the horizontal here, so to serve as my, uh, what do you call it, as my stop loss here, and this one here to serve as my entry point, okay? So after price broke out of it, after like to the downside, after price broke to the downside, came back and tested and continue going down now you see the price the kind of um market structure here it gave us a very clear price action it was it gave us lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower low lower high just like that okay until it finally came to this um support level okay so whenever you see price action being played out clearly Whenever you see the market structure playing out very clearly, you know that these very zones in that area will be respected very well, okay? That's one thing to know. Whenever you see the market giving us a very clear market structure, you just know that the areas there, the zones there will be very well respected. So just wait for it to start returning. Okay, so um, after this thing that happened here, I waited. You can see what happened there when price after um, visiting this uh, uh support level and being rejected you can see what happened next okay you can see what happened next price came up here as soon as it got to this level it was rejected to the downside okay so if you wanted to trade you could have joined here to buy okay you could have joined this um, level here to buy right so it went up again as soon as it came within this area too you can see what happened came down again so this was a second opportunity to also buy if you wanted to buy right they didn't want to buy moreover i didn't even wait for this year i was waiting for price to come back too so 
the next thing zoom but i zoomed off came to this level which was my focus my area of interest okay so when price came to it let me zoom in and show you what what happened i didn't just enter i waited then i saw this price made some attempts right it came to this uh it came to the zone the first time it hit and was rejected to the downside i said yes it is being respected but let me wait it came again hit it and was rejected to the downside i said that's good i will enter the third time so this is it price entered the third time i mean price um, came to hit to test it the third time i quickly made my entry here yeah this is a very um aggressive way of catching this move so i quickly made my entry and then um setting my stop loss right you can see it's setting my stop loss some candles away from my entry point so you can see the stop loss is very very tight so i made my um i placed my stop loss there then this is my tp this is where i place my tp as you can see here right but this is the support level here so um the reason i had to place my tp that far is because it come to the higher time frame you can see if you the daily time frame you can see here um if you use your trend line let me let me show you guys if you go with your trend line um you're gonna see this okay you're gonna see this look at it it is a clear down trend can you see this it's a clear down trend so price is pushing to the downside right price is pushing down so um it is likely to come to this level here it is likely to come to this level or well, whichever way this is just where i want to live all right so that was why i had to bring my um stop loss to this point okay so let me let me get rid of this one okay so that was it uh, okay so as you can see i made my entry and you can see what has happened have, uh, the, the the result is massive already that's to show you that this thing really works guys this thing really works so whenever you trade look out for this significant support and resistance levels as i did here look out for the place that market has tested this repeatedly then place your tools place your tools there um your horizontal the horizontal very important so that you use it to make as reference for the future event okay use it to make reference for future event whenever price gets back into that area you know that something significant to happen you already know what to expect okay so this is it as price came back to this my own area i expected a sell and i sold look at it here and see the result so that's how we do it guys trading is not magic it's all about you know looking out for um some very simple um price actions using the past history to predict the future that's it okay so make sure you understand your um, um support and resistance very well it works for everything you see in the market it's all about support and resistance demand and supply all right so um and whenever you see like i said earlier whenever you see price action playing up clearly know that the market um sorry whenever you see the market um showing clear structures less structures what i mean by clear market structure is um lower um lower lows lower highs or uh in the case of this area they giving us higher highs higher lows okay maybe i should go to M h1 right it's, it's easier to see here okay you can see that in the case of this area it was giving us higher highs higher low higher highs higher low higher highs higher low higher high higher low just like that whenever you see um market playing out clearly like this playing out the structure clearly like this know that the various zones the various support and resistance levels will be respected very well so that is it now um you can see i actually placed my trend line here because i knew that um this has been the levels where price has been you know reversing during the retracement so um at this point normally should have been my exit points okay but you can see this like i showed you guys from the higher time frame this is a downtrend and price is expected to go lower 
deep more. Okay, so even when it came here, it still respected this level for me. It respected it. You can see how it went up here, bounced up. But I already knew what was going to happen on the long run. So I quick I just ignored it. After giving these spikes, it came back. You can see now it has broken out of it. And this is a retest. Once this retest is done, the next thing is zoom. It just zoom off and then come to my um CP here. It might also do the same thing here within this level, like it might give some spike, but finally it's going to hit my TP. Okay, so that is it, guys. I use the higher time frame to know what to expect. That's how we run this trade, guys. That's how to trade profitably. Um, if any confusion in this um tutorial, feel free to drop your comments in the comment box. Or check the description box below. You are going to see a link to my Telegram channel. You can ask me directly. You can reach me directly and ask me any question of your choice. Okay. And um, please like this video. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe. Okay. And also be a part of our Telegram channel by clicking the Telegram link in the description box. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, as I always say, it can only get better. As long as you continue learning, it can only get better. This is the Alpha, Alpha Trade saying goodbye.